Welcome into the QCast. My name is Rob Hilt. Glad you're here. Please give us a quick like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us out with getting the word out to everybody. Today on the QCast, we are going to talk about something that we really, we don't even look at in our training program. And that is the add media button on the workflow ribbon. Let's get into it right now and let's talk about how that works, okay? The add media button is right here on the workflow ribbon. Kind of sits hidden right up there in the left corner because most people are worried about using these. But this little add media window right here, let me show you what this thing does. Rather than going and doing a drag and drop from somewhere, like right here, what I'm gonna do is just do a quick drag and drop and we'll just leave that like it is because I'm going to delete it. Instead of doing that and having a couple windows open, you can do everything from right here inside of the files menu. So what I could do is I can go on this PC over here. It will give me a list of what this PC areas are. You can see here it gives me all of my hard drives. So now if I just click into my C drive here, I can look at everything that's in my C drive and I can decide what I'm going to bring in. Now I can go under depositions and transcripts here, do the same thing. Let's say that I have something that I want to bring in. I'm going to go ahead and jump into my desktop, go into my OC files, and let's just get some PDFs here. I've got, oop, don't have any PDFs in that folder, so notice here we can go up one folder. You can also do that right here, whatever you're most comfortable with doing. I do have some of these exhibits, so let me go ahead and grab this one right here. I can drag and drop from right here, or I can just hit the plus sign. Once I've got this, I can just hit the plus sign and that will then add this exhibit four in and there it's for me ready to go 618 pages. All of this is available to you. Now, another thing that you can do is when you have your window open, you can go in and you can show the size of your files just like you would in Windows Explorer. You can show your date created. You can show your date modified right up here on this hamburger menu for you where you can just drop that down and you can get those options. Then you have the ability to kind of see everything. So it's the exact same as going to Windows Explorer, doing a drag and drop. The difference is I get to stay within the program. Just sometimes makes people feel a little more comfortable. I don't know, but whatever it does for you, it works. I think the ad media window is something that people just don't talk about. We don't train on it. We, it's just there, but I've finally started using it. And to be honest with you, I like it. And I'm really getting used to using that as my interface for adding my files to on cue. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you again next week.